What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. So today, it's Pick Up a Palooza! That's right. We've got a massive, massive bunch of pickups to get through, so we're just going to cut loose and go to it. How many pickups? That many pickups. Yeah. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so before we just start cracking open stuff, I want to say, I think, I think, I am almost 100% positive, this entire video is going to be a Sega Master System smorgasbord, which is cool. We're gonna, I got some stuff from the US, I got some stuff from Canada, I got some stuff from all, this, all over the place. So um, you know, just bear with me and do all that kind of stuff. There, there might be some surprises though. I might open a box and go, wait, I don't, this isn't Sega Master System. And then, you know, fun will ensue. So anyway, let's get into it. Let's go. So box number one, we're going to start from the biggest to the smallest. Biggest. This one's from North Carolina. So I think this is definitely the Master System games in here. I can see it's packaging. I'm going to rate packaging very good. It's a lot of uh, a lot of newspaper and all that fun stuff. So, all right, there we go. Yep, we got some Master System games here. Let's go. Let's go through them. All right, let's get all this. I really need another chair or something to put in front of me. But all right, let's put the box down here. Ah, it worked. All right, let's start with. Vigilante for the Sega Master System. Looking pretty cool. Play this arcade smash hit on your Sega Master System. On the baddest streets of the city, they know your name. You are lean and mean. The karate master they call the Vigilante. All right, cool. That's awesome. Five rounds. It is not as complete as I would like it, but got the card. Pen's looking. Pretty good, maybe needing a little cleaning. See a little, see a couple of those uh, rust lines in there. So, put this one down. Move on. Two. Kensaiden, which is cool. It was a land of peace and plenty until the evil warlocks returned in a storm of ruin and destruction. Now they have struck the final blow by stealing your heritage, the sword of the Dragon King, and the five secret scrolls. You must, I guess, get, get it back. Sixteen levels. That's pretty cool. It is not as complete as I would like it to be, but that's okay. We do have the game now, and pins are looking pretty good. Awesome. Consendin, Sega Master System. Good stuff. Next, we have a repeat alert. It's Zillion. Now, why does I say it's a repeat alert? Because behind here somewhere, is another copy that I have of Zillion by cartridge only. But I do now have the box, at least. Are you ready for the ultimate danger? You're alone, outnumbered, and there's no guarantee you'll make it out alive. You're JJ. The objective, secretly infiltrate the underground labyrinth of the Norza Empire and steal their plans for domination. All right, cool. I had this game when I was young. Uh, it was one of the games that was in the trade, the infamous trade from the 7800 to the Master System for my buddy from France. Cheers, Angel. Um, that was an epic trade. I really liked it. I very much enjoyed the system, as I hope you did enjoy the 7800 and all those games that you had, too. Uh, pins are looking good on this one. So it could be a trade up on the cart. Um, and again, looking for manual, but now I have the box, which is cool. Got it in a pack, so it's, you know, it's all good. It's all good. Next up, Alex Kidd. In high tech world, it's good. It's good stuff. Get ready to join the kid on his third great Sega adventure. Being the crown prince of Planet Ares is never easy. On top of being a galactic hero, you have to deal with your parents, teachers, and palace retainers. But you're a kid at heart, and you just have to go to the new high tech world arcade video video arcade, I should say, to play the newest Sega games. That's neat. Cool. And of course, all the rest of the stuff. There's four scenes, I guess four levels. 
in Alex Kidd High Tech World, which is not fully complete. Because most of this, most of this, I think all of these are not complete. But pins are looking really, really nice on that. And yet another game going on the shelf, so we can play them. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Moving on to Time Soldiers. All right. This hot hit straight from the arcades to your Sega system. Team up with a friend and join a battle across time and space. The evil tyrant, space tyrant, Galend, has attacked Earth and turned your five friends into energy balls. Don't do that. That's mean. All right. As a leader of the Earth Command Troopers, your job is to track your friends your friends down and get them back. The problem is, Guyland has scattered them across time in different, different parts of Earth's history, which is neat. 18 rounds on this one. Cool. Very cool, very cool. Again, not fully complete, but got the cart and the pins are looking kind of okay, which is good stuff. All right, so another arcade game to go. So each of these arcade games, I think, I, I hope anyway, I can have like Vigilante and Time Soldiers on the Legends arcade cabinet. So that's going to be like some more of those um, things that we've, we've been doing lately with uh, what we did. We did uh, Altered Beast. We did something else uh, that was a Master System game. Oh, Rambo. Um, and then, uh, you know, and now we're going to do Golden Axe probably. Uh, it's, either, it's either next week or maybe this week. I don't know. I'm not sure. This one has no label, no box, no fl flippy thing. We're going to open it, though, and find out what it is. It is Alien Syndrome. So not complete because it doesn't have the, the label, but got the cart, and now i got a manual, which is awesome. So Alien Syndrome says, They've come from beyond the galaxy and taken your friends hostage. You are the Earth Command Trooper. You're going to get them back. I mean, if you survive, right? This is another game I had in that pack uh, from my buddy Angel. Uh, great game. Great game. Cannot wait to play this again. Alien Syndrome on the Sega Master System. They keep going. Two. Walter Payton football. Boom. It's the snap. You sweep to the right. The quarterback hands you the ball. You head for, the day you head for daylight as the linemen open a hole. Suddenly, 250 pounds of screaming tackle is heading your way. He wants to make you Splat City. What will you do? I don't know. Play Walter Payton football and find out. So, I definitely want to play this game. I'm looking forward to playing this game. It is a game that is not fully complete, but another football game in the mix. So we can compare it to Joe Montana football, which we haven't done a fun for five on yet. I know I did the uh, did a live stream for the Super Bowl, which we will do every year. Um, we will predict the Super Bowl with the teams by playing Joe Montana. Uh, that's kind of cool. As long as they are, they're not an expansion team and they're not on there. And we'll just make one up. Um, all right, because they're looking good on this one. Again, not complete, but that's okay. And let's go to the next game. Great basketball. This might be a double alert, but I'm not positive. I've and Maybe it's great baseball that I have a card only, but this is great basketball. This is basketball in the, on the, at the professional level, full of international competition from the first jump ball to the last jump shot. There it is. Good stuff. It is Ooh. not fully complete. But got the cart. Checking it out. Pins, pins, pins. Pins are looking okay. Great basketball for the second master system. Good stuff. Now, last game in this box. It is a double alert because it's sitting right here. It's hang on Safari Hunt. But now I got the box. It's not fully complete, but got the box. Hang on Safari Hunt. Motorcycle Racing and Jungle Adventure all in one Sega Combo Carts. Hang on the 3D motorcycle game that's taking the arcades by storm. Race through grasslands, sea seasides, valleys, and nighttime cityscapes. And of course, motorcycle race courses. And then Safari Hunt is the most complete jungle game ever created. Scramble through thick rainforests. Jump over gulping bogs. And watch out for alligators because they will be watching out for you. All right, cool. So, pretty cool. I just wanted to, you know, it was in, it was in there. It was in, the, it was in the mix. It had the box. So, I was like, all right, cool. All these things equal. Good stuff. And I think that Alex Kidd High Tech World might be my first Alex Kidd game. I do believe that is the first one. So, 
of, of many more. There are three or four, I think. So that's the first box. Let's go on to this one, which looks like it's coming from Canada. So let's see what's in it. All right. This is cool, right? Just a mega pickup. Mega, mega Sega, Sega Master System pickups. Massive, massive. And of course, in here, we have more Sega Master System games. Let's get to it. Right from the top to the bottom. Let's go it. From the top to the bottom. Bottom to the top, I stop. All right, cool. Gangster Town. The time is the wild 1920s. The place is a great American city that has been taken over by rampant crime. The corruption is led by cruel and cunning gangsters who have left fear and destruction loose in the city. You are the only hope for law and order to return. You gotta get those gangsters. This is a light phaser series game that is not fully complete as we check the pins on this. Looking good, looking good. But yet another light phaser game. I don't know how we're going to do that in Safari Hunt, which is also a, a light phaser game. Um, I don't know how we're going to do that, but not, not sure. Not sure. We'll try to see if we can figure out something that might be kind of cool. All right. Hint, hint. All right, so I think we have a double alert. Yes, we do. It's Thunderblade for the Sega Master System. Get ready to take part on the greatest helicopter battle of the century with Thunderblade, the Sega arcade hit, which we already have. We'd already played that, but this one does come with the game catalog and this Sega software poster, which is kind of cool. It's okay to get a dupe every once in a while when you're buying these, when you're buying these, uh, these bundles. It's kind of cool when you got all those things in here. And most of these guys on here, a lot of them anyway, are sitting right on the shelf. It's pretty neat. So there's that there. Let's see what the game catalog is. Oh, that's neat. These are, these are cool. You know, Transbot, Choplifter, Black Belt, World Grand Prix. This must have been from the uh, the launch year, right? Action Fighter, Marksman Trap Shooting. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, and there's uh, all the Sega cards. Uh, fight, F-16, Fighting Falcon, and, and uh, My Hero, and Teddy Boy and Ghost House. All right, cool. It's good stuff, good stuff. I'll definitely check that out later. Um, and maybe do a trade up for some of the stuff that's in this box and make it complete. Pins on this one, looking real shiny. Very nice, very nice. But Thunderblade dupe, but that's okay. It's okay. You know, I want to have dupes. What am I do with the dupes? Hmm. If you hit the red subscribe button, you get us over the century marks. Maybe you find out what happens to the dupes. Just saying. All right, what do we got? We got Afterburner, which I don't think I had. I had this back in the day. But now we've got it here. You're an ace fighter pilot for wings. You have a F-14 Thundercat, the most advanced fighter jet ever developed. In the sky, you are the perfect combination of man and machine. The country's freedom depends on your success. Good luck. Afterburner, which is awesome. It was, of course, a huge Sega arcade hit. It is complete with manual, which is awesome. We've got some pins that are looking nice, nice, nice. And everybody's happy on this one. This one's gonna be really cool to check out and will be on, of course, the list to do the Fun for Five and then of course the subsequent arcade Fun for Fives as well. We have another dupe alert, which is of an unplayed game. It's Wonder Boy. And Monster Land. Boom. There it is. It is not fully complete, although I'm not positive that one is either. I can double check that, but this is indeed a better box, at least, so I can have box upgrade and that kind of stuff. Because the Wonder Boy and Monster Land box was like really, 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 really beat up. 
And this one is the uh, US label, which says Mon Wonder Boy in Monster Land. And the other one says Super Wonder Boy in Super Monster Land, um, which indicates, I think, the difference in region. On the back of the box, we have Wonderland was quiet and peaceful until the terrible Mecha Dragon took over with his army of evil monsters. Now it's called Monster Land, and the people are suffering. And yes, of course, only you, Wonder Boy, can solve the problem. Boom. Wonder Boy and Monster Land. For the second master system, we're moving right along here. That's a very cool one. Very look, very for, very much looking forward to playing that one. And now we got Outrun for the second master system. High action road ad racing adventure tests your driving technique, speed, and tr distance traveled over a rich variety of courses. Races top speed towards the finish line. Enjoy such realistic features as acceleration, lane changes, diversified terrain, sudden curves, and much more for one player. Is this the complete game? Boom. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Looking cool. Looking good. Pins. Looking sweet. We like it. It's Outrun. I mean, who doesn't like Outrun? It's going to be cool. That's going to be nice fun for five uh, to check that on out. And then we've got Marksman and Trap, Marksman Shooting and Trap Shooting. Two great games, one Sega, great Sega light phaser. Marksman Shooting puts you in the training of the FBI, clock starts ticking, shoot the targets, to, targets start jumping, you start shooting, no time to panic, too late to call it off. If you hit more than the designated number of targets, you get to move on to another nerve-wracking round. And trap Shooting demands a keen eye and faultless split-second reactions. As you tramp through the muddy grasslands or a dense forest, you must keep your wits in this realistic clay pigeon shooting game. Only dead on shots will let you go to the next round. It is fully complete. And pens are looking nice. So yet another game is going to go on the shelf and then we'll figure out what we're going to do with all these light phaser games. I'm kind of close to getting most of them, but Let's move on to Wonder Boy, which is awesome. Wonder Boy number one. You got to start somewhere, right? So brave, deep, dark forests cross endless oceans, endure arid deserts, all the while fending off nat nasty creatures and natural disasters until you find her, until you rescue your girlfriend, Tanya, from the clutches of the brutish king. This has all sorts of different... Um, language ties on the back of the box so it may might be the um, pal version that this is coming from but i'm not sure um but cartridge is in here not fully complete that's okay though because we have wonder boy and you know main parts of the game right we got to play it so we have the punch for fives pins are looking nice let's move on to the second to last game in the box there was a surprise game in here i thought this was it what is it it's Double Dragon. Oh, yeah. Very much looking forward to this one. It's another one that I had from back in the day. It is not fully complete. That's okay. Pins are looking sweet. Very good. Very good. And, of course, using the ancient oriental martial art of Kenpo, fight your way through a city controlled by ruthless gang of thugs. Keep your guard up as you battle to save your sweetheart and restore the streets to law and order there's four levels in this one which is awesome i cannot wait to get back in here and play this one um double dragon for the second master system very very cool very cool and the final game in this box is oh a double alert let's hang on safari hunt again we already know what that's it that's in there um it was from the last box this is fully complete this time um, although the box is a little beat up we can do a Combo, combo, uh, trade up. That makes it another double. What happens to double again? I don't know. Red button. Hit it. Hit the red button. Hit that red button that says subscribe, and you're going to find out what happens to the doubles. Just saying. You should do it. It's fun. Don't believe me? We've got tons of videos. Every time we hit the century mark, we usually do something. What is that something? Why is Richard talking all crypt cryptically to himself? There's no one else here but the dog. Just hit the box. Just do it. All right, we're opening this second to last box.
this is a whole bunch of regular carts. But there is one game in a box, which actually is a double alert. Double alert. All right, game in a box is double alert. Great baseball. Why is it a double alert? Because lurking back here is just a cart only. I now have the box. It is not fully complete. That's okay. Got the cart. The cart is a little dusty. Yeah, pins are good. That's fine. Great baseball. You're the manager. And you can field a total of 26 ball teams to battle for the league leadership. Pick the team of your choice, assign a starting pitcher, and then play ball. And get ready for some of the most exciting baseball since the game has been invented. That's a bold statement. Will it live up? Will great baseball live up to the name? Will it be great? Or will it just be another game? We don't know. We'll find out in a fun for five soon. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll do that like all-star weekend, right? You don't get a theme going on? I don't know. Who knows? I've never done that kind of stuff before. Hit me up in the comments and you know, let me know if you want to do that. All right, cool. So now we're going through the stack, which is just carts. So you're going to see the screens and stuff, but I, sorry, I can't do any dra dramatic readings from the back of the cart because there's nothing on it except for the, you know, don't put it in water and all that kind of stuff. Avoid heat and all that, whatever. Anyway, the Ninja for the Sega Master System. So these are going to be quick hits. The Ninja looking good, looking good. I don't think that is a double alert. I don't think I have that one. Um, so we're good to go there. Um, is this a double alert? It is. Double alert. Time soldiers for the second master system. What do you do with doubles again? I don't know. Global defense. Ooh, global defense. Sweet. That was one of the ones that I was going to be looking for from the video I did a little bit ago. Check out the video. Uh, I think I'm going to put a picture of it, right? Um, where I started talking about the, the, the joy I had about video game music. And we did Rambo, First Blood Part 2, where I took a track off of Rambo and talked a little bit about the music. We're going to be doing a lot more of those. So hopefully you guys are going to like them. Hopefully you'll dig them and that kind of stuff. But Global Defense is one of the games that the composer of the Rambo, First Blood Part 2 soundtrack did. And now we have it. So that is very cool, very exciting news. So a fun for five and then some more content coming soon for global defense for sure. And then we have definitely a double alert. I don't know where the cartridge is. I'm pretty sure I have the box. It's pro wrestling. That's it right there. There it is. Okay. I got it. It's pro wrestling. Um, I've got a complete in box uh, there. This is another one. The cart pins are good. Global defense. Sorry. Carts are good. Pins are good. So that's it. So that's a, I, um, pro wrestling is a, I don't know if it's a cool game or not, but it's the one that I have two of now. Again, what do I do with all those doubles? What do I do with them? I don't know. All right, cool. World Grand P. Grand Prix? <laughs> Grand P. Don't want that. Uh, Grand Prix is the next game. Uh, the pins are looking a little dusty on this one. This is going to take some cleaning. So good thing I watch John Riggs. And he tells me all about the magic of the one-off card and some 90 plus percent isopropyl alcohol. We'll clean those right up. Maybe put some brass clean around there and get that going. So World Grand Prix, looking forward to that. I've got a double alert, OutRun, another copy of OutRun. Um, we had the, the box right there. Uh, this one, again, is looking a little dusty, but, you know, clean that up and st stack that in to the pile that's okay for the doubles because what do we do with doubles uh, again just don't know just don't know rescue mission all right that's the last one i think in this box there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here we're gonna look at that in a little bit but rescue mission good stuff good stuff and uh pins are looking really good on this one um can't wait to play this one i didn't really take a like a big look as to what anything is about this game but yeah, you know, it's another game to have. Seems really cool. And from what I was looking at it, and that's that's it. I mean, and I kind of want them all, so you know, it's kind of you gotta you gotta get there. So that is that for that box, which brings us to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, five, twenty-six, twenty-six games with like six. Uh, so let's say about twenty new games to go on the stack. 
which is awesome. That's weeks of content. I'm very, very happy about that. But wait, wait, wait. Bonus box. Bonus box. Let's see. Let's see what's in the bonus box. This one's going to be a little different, I think. Still Master System related, but different nonetheless. This one came from Canada as well. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, so that was, that was from Canada. Which one was this one from? This one from Staten Island, that other, that other box that I got with the, the just the card only stuff from Staten Island. New York. So it's kind of cool. So thanks, guys, from all these different places, by the way. Um, thank you for your, your kind patronage. Or I'm patroning you, I guess. So there's that. This one is really in there. Don't know what to do about that. Put this down here. Ugh, look at all this. All this stuff just stuck to this box. Ugh. So what do you guys think of the, uh, the pickup so far? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what's going on with these things here as I'm just having loads of trouble with losing the battle of cardboard and tape. I think this is the... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Get in there. Yes. All right, awesome. <clears throat> it's Master System related. But what is it? Not an empty box. It is a pack full of... Game manuals. So let's see what we got. Alien Syndrome. Pro Wrestling. Alien Syndrome, I know, will make it complete. Pro Wrestling, I think, does complete the one that's in the box over there. Thunderblade, which will do uh, one of those. Because I don't think the Thunderblade have actually did have the manual. I'm not sure. But I have one now. Double Dragon, which makes the one I have complete. Action Fighter, which I think I already have, but that's okay. I have an extra. Maybe it's a better uh, version. Choplifter, which is a game I don't have yet. Nope, but soon. So that means I can get a card only or, or a, or a uh, whatchamacallit. Monopoly, which is a game I don't have yet. Captain Silver, which is a game I will have to look for. Spellcaster, which is a game I'm on the hunt for actively, but have found not complete a whole bunch of times. And now I have the manual, so if I get, you know, box and cart, that's fine. I'll pick it up. Hang on, Safari Hunt. Got a couple of those. Lord of the Sword, which I think I do not have complete, but that Lord of the Sword is now complete with this manual. I'm not positive, though. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Where in the world is Cameron San Diego? I do know that I have the manual for it, but that's okay. And then Great Soccer. Which is neat. So, got some manuals, making some boxes complete, and there it is. We are done opening boxes in this pickup a Palooza. So, thanks for watching this uh, pickup video, and special thanks to Roger from the Evercade fans group, who was requesting some more SMS box openings. So, this one's for you, buddy. Um, you know, definitely. Um, hope you're doing well over there and, you know, hopefully this give, gives you minutes worth of good fun and content watching me open these silly games. And then if you could, not just Roger, but everyone that's watching, spread the word about Good Times with Retro Rich because, hey, the more people that have coming in and hanging out with us, the more people can receive things like those doubles, right? Or you could just keep it all to yourself and then win every giveaway we do <laughs> but hey you know it'd be cool just tell us about you know tell us tell some friends and and do all that kind of stuff speaking of friends there's some right there zoe b pete and christy atari keep papa pete nlg everybody everybody's in there go in down below check out the stuff give them some likes give them some subs give them all the things we also talk about this fine thing we just did a live stream over the weekend with this Fine guy right there, the Evercade. You want some more Evercade content other than the Evercast with me and OEB Pete and RetroCode-9? Then boom, 
There they are. There's the friends from across the pond, the Evercade fans group on Facebook, and of course the Evercade live session hosted by It's Much More. James is a good guy. He's got all sorts of cool stuff. He's got great guests. So check them out. Give them likes, give them subs, and all that kind of good stuff. Which brings us to us here at Bacon Ice Cream Productions. We thank you once again for watching. And uh, tune in. Fun for fives of plenty. You know, out of 20 games here that I didn't have before, we got weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of fun for fives yet to get through. So uh, we hope you do stick around and hang out with us and get in those comments and let me know what's going on. Let me know if one of these games that I just opened up wants to be the next fun for five. Because if a whole bunch of people say, hey, you got to play this game, hey, maybe that'll be the next fun for five I do. So with that being said, if you could on the way out, hit that red subscribe button for us helps the channel grow and helps us to reach our new heights we're trying to get first over that 400 mark and if we get over that 400 mark by the end of the week ooh, there's a challenge if we get over the 400 mark by the end of the week then not only will there be a video that we normally do which will happen anyway but we will start talking about what happens with some of the games in a stack and that's always good times. But until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. Team